Okay, let's fix this a little bit because it looks a little crooked. Hopefully this is coming out good because uh, so this is going to be a beer review. Uh, I'm recording in a room where there's no computers on because I don't know if you guys noticed but if you're charging your phone while you're recording or if there's any computers around there's this slight buzz and some people may may not find that annoying but some people do and I'm one of them I find that really annoying so one of my videos I did an old I did a beer review and it actually I said good things in that beer uh, review but it was totally messed up because of the sound it was you could hear my computers on in the background uh, and I just wasn't in frame that great and I, but I, I mean I was partly in frame but I was in that in it was hard to explain I just didn't record it well um, so this is a and it was a cheap beer so it's not such a big deal I can I can review it again but I'm not sure if I reviewed that beer before I might have anyway let's get to it because I don't want to give you guys too long here so today's beer is uh, the labels kind of messed up but I don't know if I can fix it the label is definitely messed up but it's merman so merman uh, this is the last beer I had my friend bought it for me thanks to him Leo you know who you are if you're watching uh, Coney Island Brewery um, here in New York another New York uh, brewery uh, IPA merman IPA uh, five point what is it 5.8 alcohol per volume so um, it actually tells you where they're located in the back of the bottle I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna leave a link to all this the bottle cap is really cool actually uh, I've drank uh, Coney Island beers before I don't know if they have any affiliation with Brooklyn Brewery but they might they might have some affiliation. That might be an offset or a sister uh, brewery or something like that. Because I think Brooklyn is bigger than Coleon's brewery. Because I haven't heard about Coleon until probably like f seven years ago. or Well, actually, two years ago I heard about them. But I heard about Brooklyn probably like four or five years ago. So anyway, I'm going to crack into this. And... It's a little smoky. Also, that's cool what it has inside. So I like the style of this brewery. Um, they have several different styles. Uh, I just like that they're old school. Like they're trying to be like kind of like sort of like the Pro Prohibition 1930s kind of thing to them. So or like carnival, you know, type of feel to them. So uh, anyway, let's get to it. Um, it's in this college uh, college sports glass that I'm pouring this into just trying to make my videos a little bit better man because sometimes I mess up and it's just annoying <laughs> when I see videos that I mess up so this one looks really cool like a typical uh, light yellow, yellow, t um, orange tint. The head is uh, not too bad. Smells a um, little bit subdued. IPA definitely has a grapefruit smell to it or citrusy smell to it. Um, I don't know what else to say to it. Uh, pretty, just pretty typical, and not not anything too outrageous with the smell. But it's, it it isn't too point uh, pungent is the word I'm looking for. Not too piney. So cheers. Definitely. Um, there's a, there's a, it's not too piney, but it has, uh, 
the bitterness is not too overbearing and you but it has a good blend it uh it does taste more on the on the grapefruit palette than than it would taste like on the orange or lemon style IPAs because I mean some of them taste more like lemon or lime or uh, I haven't really tasted much that tastes like orange but this one definitely tastes more of a grapefruit there is a uh, I haven't looked this up in uh, on tap or anything like that, so I don't know the uh, the ratings offhand who what that people are giving it. But it's definitely a beer that I haven't had. I haven't had many of their IPAs uh, going on, but definitely a beer that is it's doable. It's not it's not the like the highest high of of, of uh, IPAs that I've ever tasted, but it's good. I would say this is like some if someone was getting into the IPAs, this is probably a beer that you're looking to. And um, yeah, it has a. I don't know how to explain it. There's a bitterness at the end of it, aftertaste, but not too much in the end when you first taste it. If you shake it, like in your mouth, if you swish it around, you get a more of a of a grapefruit, definitely grapefruit taste. Um, the bitterness is, you know, like if I would put it on a low or a middle or high, if that was a scale on that, it's kind of in the middle. So my rating is probably going to be a 7. It's a 7. Or, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like kind of giving it a 6.5. It's not the, like I said, it's not like the greatest beer I've ever tasted uh, when it comes to IPA styles. But I, I do like it. It's just It just seems like a watered-down version of an IPA. And it, when you when you go into double IPAs, which is, I guess if you like IPAs, you you'll go to the double or the trip. I don't know if there's a trip. I I don't think I've ever tasted a trip. I've tasted double IPAs, but this one, yeah, it's just it's just definitely passable as an IPA. Definitely a good one if you like those IPAs, but it's not like something that's gonna wow you. It's not there's no wow factor to it. So, um, I don't know how much this costs because, I, like I said, it was a gift. But I think if you see it out there and it's cheap enough, like probably like a $10 six-pack, then, yeah, pick it up if you like IPAs. But if you don't, uh, obviously, you you know what you like. If you don't like IPAs, don't pick it up. So, that is my review. Hope you enjoy it. Um, like I said, I did a review for a cheap beer in my cheap beer series like I said I don't know the price of this so I wouldn't consider this a cheap beer but other cheap beers that I've had in my previous that I want to do beer reviews to will be coming up why am I doing cheap beers just to show you my taste in beers and what I think is the categorization of them there's one thing that I said in the previous video that I want to say in this video. People that don't know much about beer and think that malt liquor and beer are the same, no way. You don't have no idea what you're talking about. Because malt liquor does not taste like beer and beer does not taste like malt liquor. It's just totally different. And there's different styles of beers. People don't get that. It's not. I mean, if you're watching this, you might know all this already. 
but some people don't. Some people that watch my videos don't know that that you know there's different types of beer. But anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Like this is a new location. Just uh, like I said, I did this video because of the video that I did previously didn't come out good, and because there was a lot of background noise that I just didn't like. So, hope you enjoyed the beer review, and uh, let me know what you guys think of if this beer, if you ever tried it, what you guys think. So, I'll see you guys later.